just the back and forth momentum oh. swap. That there's a big rock. Here comes Romero, oh. but a pull counter. There Bang! we go. We have there a champion, is. ladies and gentlemen. Your champion. All right, Jillian Robertson recently added to UFC 5. I think the, she's pretty simple as a four-star fighter. High-level rear naked choke, so we're obviously going to be looking to grapple. And the best way for us to do this is trying to look to crash into the clinch when possible. I already saw their opponent through a 1-2-3. Notice that they're low blocking after that, they missed that kick. So that's going to tell me that they're going to be ready to deny takedowns if they miss something big. So we're going to try to work a bit of the clinch, work some strikes. Let's see what type of reaction we'll get from our opponent. There we go. Now we're going to go into the single under. One of the more recent additions that's kind of like, okay, I can see how she could work in this division, but we'll see We'll see what we can do. Now, Joanna and Jacek does not have the craziest uh, grappling threat. Woo! But we do. Oh, and we got the darts and the arm triangle in this position. Oh, that is fucking lovely. All right, so generally speaking, Jillian Robertson, she is basically kind of meat and potatoes type of grappling, so it's not anything too crazy that we can really expect. There we go. Probably going to try to go up. What? I know, brother, I know I did not that. Anyways, we'll go past the side control. So the hardest thing, obviously, with using these, like, four-star fighters is always going to be... Oh, we don't have the darts there. Always going to be... Whether you're going to be able to get to the positions that you need. Because I've had a hard time with, you know, with Mackenzie Dern. As good as some of those showcases have turned out, it can go really, really bad if you're going against a uh, Zhang Wei Li. If you're going against somebody who's a superior grappler or a superior striker, but also has the clinch stats to keep you afloat. And it kind of seems to me that this person is very keen on kind of sitting and denying. It costs an excessive amount of stamina, which I'm personally not a fan of. So what we're going to try to do is keep faking here. We'll fake here once more. This person, I guess, is content to be taken down. All right, we're going to get it back sitting. That's perfect. Now, we do have to be aware that the timer here is very unforgiving. So what I'm going to do is try to do with Jillian is I'm going to fake this armbar. Oh, no, I went, I went straight forward. My bad. I meant to press L1. That's my fault. All right, we'll take the attempt, though. All right, last some strikes. Oh, you went straight for it. You, you are actually out your damn mind. You try to go for it while we're striking. Ain't that some shit. Take this on bar. Uh-oh. And we did most recently see in the women's strawweight division. Was it, uh, was it strawweight? Women's strawweight division ended in an arm bar from Berna Jandaroba. So Jandaroba looked very solid against Amanda Lemos. I don't see uh, Jillian Robertson fighting for a title anytime soon. You never know, especially in those weight classes. Like, you get on a good enough win streak, the champion ain't, uh, you know, the champion ain't holding up as well as you think that they are. And Vernon Jandaroba looking really solid. Maybe there's a position for Jillian Robertson to actually fight for a title. I don't know. Could happen, right? I'm trying to see right here. Just to make sure I'm correct, woman's strawweight, right? Yeah, she's a strawweight. There, yeah, she's ranked 13. So filling out the she's a filling out the roster type of addition. Crazy. She started out cardio kickboxing at the age of 16 at American Top Team, then joined MMA classes after a few months. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> her record eh, five four and one in the last five. Like, yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's go, y'all. And yes, I am streaming right now. While trying to get the showcase done, because I like to sometimes get my one and done when needed. Sorry, clear. We're already kind of up a little bit. So my general work with the grapplers is trying to work a bit of those hook threats. I can't afford to really get into like a long extended war with the likes of uh, Yona and J check. That was nice. There we go. Check the body. So, my general goal is footwork-wise, especially with the four-star fighters, that if I can get them right behind that black line, that's going to be my ideal time to shoot. We do have access to the body tee. Oh, that was nice. 
fire up up the middle. The where to try to head kick us. Nice leg kick from Yoranich and Jacek. This is the, I think this is the recent five star addition that got added, which you know I, I don't even know if I should even showcase that unless you guys really want me to. Nice two shot choice. Miss it. Temp six seven in four twenty two. Nice body front kick. Now the best part is we already got two deep sub attempts in round one. Which is going to help us out a lot when it comes to judges scorecards because that generally is grounds for a 10-8, especially if we got two deep ones. So my goal right... Oh, I was going to say, my goal right now, I can try to finish the fight on the feet if need be, but right now, I want to focus on just point fighting a little bit. If I get a finish, that would be cool. There it is. Entry. Take the back. Good denial. Oh, it's even even better denial. And this is why I said I don't like shooting in this fucking weight class. Jesus Christ. All right. Into the country go. Land a knee. Another thing I've actually kind of like low key figured out is that like these fighters that have like high clinch control, they are very difficult to move around a single under, which it really should be. It's not a position in real life that you like. See somebody get manhandled exponentially. Like you'll see people get moved in those set positions. But you won't see them get moved the way that they get moved in this game. There we go. Transition from the double to the single. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? I mean... Si me quiere la crucifix, I'll take it, money. Oh, my lord. This is interesting. Sweet baby Jesus. Well, I'm confused. No, Jameer, I don't know who Lita is. All right. Close, close round. I said that was good. I said that was good. Not too shabby, not too shabby. You ready to fight? You ready? Hmm. Okay. I'd say right now our goal is I there's like a funny statistic that if you want to make money betting wise, more often times than not, a lot of women's fights tend to go by to decision. So as uh boring as it may be, with Jalen Robertson, she does have a couple finishes. On a record, but we do have to recognize, like, we don't know. Who, I don't know who this person is, right? I don't know whose all account this is. There it is. We need to keep it two counters at a time. And I think I've also felt as a player, like, my biggest mistake has been sometimes I kind of force scenarios too much. And I don't want to do that with Julian. I want to be composed. There we go. Initiate. If I don't get something, I don't have to be in a rush to get it. There's a... Ooh, nice flying knee attempt. Took advantage. I was going to block low. Nice body uppercut. And I will also say, like, pick up on the little things that your opponent does defensively. Right? Notice that, like, whenever they whiff a big shot, they always leave the head available. Now, I don't want to kick with Jillian. Ow. Especially not trying to... With the amount of times that this person has been ducking, I'd be careful. Time ourselves another good single. We do have the darts counter available. If they decide to go up. Joanna does not have much off of her back, so this is really, really good for us. I'd say this is the five-star that she matches up best against. Woo! Go side saddle. There we go. I kind of want the, I kind of low-key want the rear naked choke instead. That is her best move. Oh, they use the fake. We're going to go neon belly. Nope, no, 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 no. We should have neon belly. All right, let's we'll see if they move. Beautiful. Now, we know this person is not going to do much from backside. Wait, 
Let's see. Ah, uh, fuck off. I gotta, I gotta do like a check on all the women's movesets because I don't know if Joanna has a actual armbar or not. She probably does. Oh fuck me. Oh yeah, she doesn't have a triangle. Whew, that's good. Keep it simple. Hello. Oh, I hit the fucking shoulder. My leg. Another takedown for good measure. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those. This is. I, I can already tell. Like when I upload this, people are gonna be like, "Who the hell? <laughs> Who is this four star? That they, this four star that they added?" I'm just, saying, I'm just being fair. I'm being fair like they are. I don't even know if I should even do a whole intro for Jillian. Maybe I should. Just to be nice so nobody bothers me. You ready to fight? You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're clearly down by a good amount. See, so you gonna change anything? Like the way this person is playing, like they're playing like they're very familiar with me. Good, it's good. They haven't picked up on the body straight. Try to throw that in there just to freeze him a bit. There we go. There we go. See how we kind of built on that threat? Built on the body cross threat. Able to set up the teeth. That's how you can make Jillian Robertson work. Maybe that should be the focus of the video. Like, how to use this four-star in women's strawweight. There we go. Some good body work. She does have some pretty nice animations. My leg. Check that one. Didn't register. Bring out the head kick. And back in circle. Another good clean body shots. I do, I, I do want the finish. I do want it. That's nice. Good work. So they sped up the switch kick. Uh oh, you fucking up now. Mhm. Mm Two minutes. How do you usually and don't? Well, kind of doing the damn thing here. Yeah? Mm. There we go. No, she doesn't have the turn, you fuck. I thought you'd have the turn there. This is where Joanna becomes a problem. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, my leg. Looks sweet. But we do have heel hooks available. No! Motherfuckers! Eh, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Alright, round five. I think uh, the thing is about a lot of four-star fighters that people tend to get caught up in is that when you try to do the exact same thing that you can get away with like the higher ranked fighters and you try it against them, you can get in big trouble. But if you can slow down the fight and the person's not really trying to press with those advantages, you can relatively chill. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah, this is somebody who's familiar with me. I think they've, they've already kind of conceded victory. Ooh, they backstepped. 
They backstepped. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't need to finish. I gotta tell myself I don't need to finish. I don't need to finish. Don't need to finish. We don't need it. We already won. We already won. We do not need to finish. Oh, that was nice. Don't need to finish. We're up. It's their job. It's their job. It's their job. Came back, came back, came back, came back. Be smart, Jillian. This is your big moment. You got Joanna out of retirement. You'll send it back with a nice decision. Oh. There you go. They're having a hard time pulling the trigger. Check that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Shot reshot. No, 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 no. Eh, 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 eh. See? We're gonna go. Gotcha. I did say I wanted the... Wanted the Renekin choke, but... And I know I said I didn't need to finish, but... Come on now. For somebody who has nine submission wins on their record, and especially in the UFC, this woman has some of the, mo the most finish, like not the most finishes in the UFC for the women's, but she has a good amount. Like she has a solid amount. So I think it would have been a disservice if we didn't go ahead and do that. Of course, I would have preferred to have gotten it with maybe an arm bar or a rear naked choke. But beggars can't be choosers. That's going to be it for Jillian Robertson. She's a four-star fighter that you really have to manage your range effectively. You really have to... You can't get into these type of crazy Tekken combo exchange with her. You keep it smart, you keep it simple, you time your takedowns, hunt for the subs, and you'll be in for a good time. That's going to be it for Jillian Robertson. Remember 17, I appreciate y'all. Much love, take care, and have a wonderful day.